Hey guys, Editing Joker here, and before we get to whatever video I put this in front of, I just want to remind you guys that we are doing another cash prize giveaway for the two-year anniversary that is coming up. So the link to the Google form that you can fill out will be in the video description. It will be guess all of the units that are coming out for the two-year annie between like the free-to-play and summonable protectors, and then the free-to-play and summonable battle units. Uh, the instructions will be on the form. The cash prize right now is up to $500, and all you need to do is guess a few characters' names and what their typings will be. So it's fairly simple, but try and do it, right? Because it's, it's, it's free money, right? So be sure to put your answers in the form that's in the description, have fun with it, and then once the anniversary is, you know, mostly done, we know all the units, I will reach out to whoever wins. There are some other questions uh, on the form as well that you have to answer in order for me to, you know, pay you, pay you and contact you. But, hey, this is supposed to be fun, right? I like to do these giveaways. I like to reward, you know, my subscribers for, you know, still being here and still playing the game two years in. Um, so, yeah, let's have some fun, guys. Link in the video description, but let's get on with, like I said, whatever video I put this in front of. Bye, guys. Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today we're going to be taking on the EX3 of the new Ranga's Beatdown Battle versus the Fire Golem. This is to get the last, um, you know, stage version dupe of Ranga himself. The rest of them will come from the shop, from just farming the beatdown battle itself. But uh, this stage does have a few quirks to it. So, unfortunately, they did really try and hard nerf any healing or vengeance or, you know, any kind of stunning skills whatsoever. Because his he seals um, all body and spirit changing skills, including the rear guard for three turns, and he applies that again at the end of the third turn. So you're pretty much, after turn one, you cannot use any body and spirit changing skills, which pretty much negates vengeance, it negates healing, it negates stuns, it negates anything that would make this stage um, much easier to do. Uh, he also nerfs greens and blues for ten turns, so uh, you're really, really limited to using an orange team. And then he gives himself, you know, alt gauge, physical attack, he's got physical resistance and crit resistance, and he's got guard for quite a while. I think after, on turn like three, he puts it up, and then he always has it after that because he reapplies it. Um, the good news is he doesn't have that much HP, 322,000. So, I mean, it it's not out of the realm of possibility to kill him in five or six turns before he does his AoE and probably one-shots your front line. But uh, there are a few strategies we can use. So we're just going to jump in using the current team that I've been using for all the stages, and that is this team. So we've got the Wielder of Magic meta, uh, Milam, Ranga, Shinsha, and then we have Shuna, Rain, and Shizu as support. So everyone here is a support unit in some aspect. You're giving us the weakness damage buff, you're giving us the orange buffs and the pierce power, you're giving the alt buff, and you're giving the magic buff, and then you're the nuker. So, I mean, it. this team can run efficiently. Uh, Ranga is not done, He his gear is not, not good, and his skills are not completely leveled up, but in order to get a full thing of protection gauge on turn 1, you need to have this skill at level 9. Uh, level 8 or below will not get it for you. So that's also why we're bringing Water Shion. Just to, you know, we don't need it because it's level 9, but a little bit extra protection gauge here and there is nice. Um, also, Ranga's orb change is very specific. Because you have to, both the orbs have to be wielder of magic orbs, which is pretty much only Ranga and Shinsha. So the way we run this first turn is we have to bring Shinsha in for a specific unit for his orb change to actually work. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump in. So, in case you don't really understand what I just said uh, about Ranga's orb change, we're going to run this as is, and we're going to orb change here. So, Ranga is the only person on the actual meta, right? Shizu and Shuna are not part of Wielder of Magic. So, if we were to use Ranga's orb change now, it would only change his orb, alright? 
So to avoid that issue, we have to bring in Shinja for Shizu. Therefore, both units are on the meta. You can see they're getting the extra fire damage buff. They've got the extra attack and defense stat. And now if you use Ranga's orb change, because both of these units are on the meta, now the orb change happens in its entirety. So that's what you have to look out for. If you're going to use Ranga and you don't have a bunch of Wielder of Magic characters, using his orb change is probably not the best idea and you're better off bringing uh, Light Hanada or the free Fire Slime Rimuru. Um, but we're going to continue forward as is now. So we're going to have a whole bunch of water units up front. Shensha will do a butt ton of damage because she is on the meta. So 5,000 and a counter. Rain's doing 58 and then Shensha does 12.3. <laughs> so very, very high difference in damage. And we've already taken off quite a bit of his HP. And that's a very good hand right there. You know, I think we only need like three Shensha orbs to guarantee that we get her EX alt. So having four just makes that even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Ranga here, and we're going to use a couple buffs. We're going to use Shinsha's orange buff, so orange damage and protection gauge. We're going to use Ranga's pierce power and skill point gain on oranges right now. And then we will use Milam to give us the full hand of oranges plus the pierce rate, which will then, you know, give us that extra pierce power. And we'll be looking pretty good right here. And then we're going to bring in Shizu as well just for extra damage we don't need all this support but we're going to use it anyways so there's the ex alt perfect uh next turn we are going to use the magic buff and the shizu buff and then that'll give us a lot of points to i mean we don't have to we could just nuke now if we really wanted to to be perfectly honest with you um but i want to do i want to do massive amounts of damage so we're just going to do it anyways so magic buff weakness damage buff and could we kill here? 120,000% we could totally kill here. There would be no issue, but I don't want to kill here. So we're going to do this. Cool. All right. Just a, not a lot of health left, but this will ensure now that we can use both the alt buff from Shuna and Shinsha. So we'll bring Shinsha in here for Ranga. And then we'll use her buff, which is the 50% extra damage on EX alts only. And then we have enough to where we use Milam, get the 40 points. And then we can use the normal alt buff from Shuna. And we're going to do disgusting amounts of damage against this thing, which didn't need to happen. But so now, Shinsha has the 50% from her skill, the 70% from Shuna. So we're looking at 120% alt damage. And then she herself has 24% pierce power from Ranga, guaranteed pierce from Milam, magic attack for 40% from Rain, 60% weakness strike from Shizu, and her 47% personal attack buff from her own skill. So, uh, goodbye. Yeah, 738. He had like, maybe 40k left, so. <laughs> Definitely not difficult to do this stage with this meta, with this specific team. So instead, let's take it down a notch and let's use some not meta units and clear it anyways. All right, team two, we're gonna use another orange converter, you know, one of a limited pool of options, but you know, she'll get the job done. We're gonna bring Earth Benny Maru for potential orb stealing, but mainly for his orange orb buff. So it does buff damage, and it buffs gauge increase, so that will help us, you know, cycle a little bit better, get a little bit more gauge and skill points. Hinata's going to be our turn one orb changer, and that's pretty much the only reason she's here. And then we're going to bring three water units. So Alice, while being physical and the golem having physical resistance, isn't going to be the greatest option. She is going to give pierce and water resistance down, which then Raphael and Belzard, who quote, are skill fused, so you may not have this team as an option available. This is actually the first time I've run this team. I, I just kind of threw it together and thought it would work, so we're going to find out together. But they do have their skill fusions, which makes them much, much more useful uh, than they were previously. It, maybe you can still do it if they're not skill fused. I don't know. It kind of depends on how this run goes, and I'll be comfortable in saying whether or not they could do it in their old versions, but let's give it a try. 
All right, so turn one, we've brought Hinata for her convert. Now, she's only giving alt gauge increase, so uh, it's not going to give us any extra additional gauge, which is going to hurt us in getting, you know, that turn two protector. But again, that's why we have Shuna here, or not Shuna, but uh, Shion attached to Raphael to give us that extra protection trait on turn two. So we're going to take you out, and we're going to take you out, and we'll have a bunch of water units up front. So we'll see how this goes. Yes, so we're quite short here, but the trait from Xion will push us into a turn two protector, which will be quite nice. All right, 5,600 damage. Okay. So definitely we're not doing 12k unless it's the 200% orb. But, oh, okay, well, that works because, you know, these are not EX units. So we don't need EX ults. We just need barely enough, and this will get us that barely enough marker. So... Velzard, you see that her Frostbite skill is sealed now. She's got a one-turn attack buff and a 35% pierce resistance down. And then Raphael has a defense down and pierce power up for water allies. And then Alice herself has the pierce and water resistance. So we need to be able to use all of those. So, and that's going to necessitate another protector. So that's why we're going to bring Alice out for now. We'll bring Benimaru in and we'll use his orange buff just to give us that little bit extra kick that we may or may not need. And then we're going to take him out because he's going to take probably a lot of damage because he's type disadvantage. So now we'll use Toa. Give us those extra 40 skill points. We'll make back everything as far as points are concerned here. It's just the actual protection gauge itself that we're going to need. So yeah, that's quite a hefty amount that we're going to have to make up for unless we use... Alice's pierce buff early so like we could have left her in and we could have used the pierce buff sent her away and then tried to get a protector next turn um you know either way I don't really know how that's gonna work out um because without the pierce we're not gonna kill him so we we kind of need that but we don't have a lot of oranges now which poses a problem so you're gonna come in for Velzard since she's got four orbs which looks like so yeah that'll work and then you'll come out and then we'll steal all of this with Benny Maru and then hopefully being the keyword okay ooh perfect it does all right so there we go that worked out as you know as perfectly as I wanted it to uh yeah that's a chunk of damage right there okay Benny Maru not doing a lot he's physical and he's type disadvantage and he took two counters right there, and he's... Okay, well, I thought he was going to take a third, but that works. Okay, so we are ready to go as long as everyone has orbs, which they do. So Velzard will come in for Hinata, and Raphael will come in for Benny Maru. I mean, ideally this should work. So we'll use the Pierce buff, the Pierce power... No, the Pierce rate and water resistance... All right, and then we'll use Toa, give us those 40 skill points, give us the full hand of oranges, which are no longer damage buffed from Benny Maru, but that's fine. And then this is 47% defense. It could be up to 50 if I were to skill, or if I were to upgrade it even more, but meh. So how much health does he actually have right now? He has 223,000. I don't know if we can actually cover that or not, but we sure will find out now, won't we? Uh, we, you know, we don't see these alts very often, so we'll watch them. Uh, yeah, it's not very often we use water 1.0 teams. <laughs> Tidal Tempest, how much do you, please, if you do at least 100k, I'll be happy. Uh, oh, that's not good. 52k? Alright, well, that's disappointing. Uh, Velzart, need you to do 150 right here. I think that's asking a little too much, but... Freezing Splash, uh, 77. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oof. Okay, so, no, the answer is, if they are not skill-fused, you definitely will not be able to use this team. Okay, but we have another triple alt, so, I mean, we, we probably can kill now. So, um, he still has water resistance down. He still has crit resistance down. That's from the trait, that doesn't really matter. Um, we can't really use anything now, can we? How much health does he have left? 52k? 
Uh, oof, I don't really actually know if we're going to be able to make up that difference. We're going to give ourselves the attack buff at minimum. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll try being the keyword. All right, I don't want to watch Alice's ult. Uh, 12k. <laughs> we should be fine here. Yeah, 27k. Okay, so this this worked. 40k. <laughs> it, it wasn't great, but we did get it done within the six turns, right? So before he one-shot us. So technically, I mean, you might you might be able to get away with it with them with not being skill fused, but you will definitely need like another turn full of alts to get it like what we had here. Um, but, I mean, it's worth a shot at least, right? Let's try something else now. Alright, so a JP player made this team, but with one minor difference. So, Beretta is here to change blue orbs to orange. Hinata's your turn one orb changer. You could very easily swap her out for the Fire Slime Rimuru. Aqua for the Pierce buff and the ult, um, you know, the ult gauge. Rain is our primary nuker. Cosma is our secondary nuker, along with uh, the attack and defense down. The Orc, an OG protector, changes six greens to six oranges and raises your cap by 20 points. So it allows you to use 120, 140, you know, if you ever get that high, which you probably won't with this team. But the Japanese player that I saw, he was actually using four-star Water Veldora because Water Veldora also changes six green to six orange and he's a four star protector so you could in theory get away with using this veldora instead of this the orc which you know we're gonna try i haven't actually tried it with this veldora i only tried it with the orc um but let's put the water charm on and this will be another proof of concept kind of video and we'll we'll see how it goes. Again, the golem here doesn't have like that much health, so with the amount of buffs and EX characters we're bringing, it should be doable. But again, let's find out. All right, proof of concept video, right? So orb change. Um, we didn't bring Water Shion as the support for Cosma because I figured you know, some people may or may not have her with the trait. But we brought you know Light Rimuru, Groom Rimuru instead. Who has this? You know, uh, the first three turns against Protection Gauge, so that will still help cover the difference. So we're going to bring all three water units up front. They are all, all magic. They are all EX units, so they will benefit from maybe possibly having at least one of them with an EX alt. Uh, 6,400 damage on with rain. That's good right there. Um, she doesn't have to be your nuker. Okay, guard. Cool. Whatever. Uh, okay, we got a 3, 2, 1 spread, which will be enough to get 3 alts, so the problem is are these orange, or these blues, which is the reason why we brought Beretta, so because Cosma only has 1 orb, we're going to sacrifice his alt in favor of the other 2, so Beretta will change those blues, and then this Veldora will change that 1 green orb and then we'll have yeah, a full hand of, full hand to send, uh, but points will be a different thing Points will be a much, much different uh, <laughs> issue. So if we, were to, if we wanted to use... No, they're, they're 80 points. We don't even have enough right now. Okay, so we're going to have to... Okay, we have no uh, no oranges whatsoever. Um, let's just try and get an alt for... Alright, so... Aqua's going to have two. We'll get you out of here. Okay. Well, we're going to try and get Cosma and alt. I don't actually know if that's going to work out or not. It's not. All right, well, we didn't have to beat it in three turns or four turns. <laughs> we just have to beat it. That's the most important thing. Uh, there we go. So 96 points. That, that'll that be enough to use <laughs> one big buff, which will probably be Cosma's buff because it's an attack and defense nerf. So it has the most probably stopping power. So we'll bring you in for... Oh, I guess you're coming in for Hanada. And then you're coming in for Beretta. And we're going to see if we can actually kill here with three alts that are going to be attack buffed and with a defense down. So 50% defense down, 50% attack up. Uh, are we able to cover 235,000 HP? Find out today. <laughs> On Slimy Sakai Memories. Uh, Aqua, 48,000. That's not great. 
Kazuma is going to do even less. 40,000. Come on, Rain. I, you got it. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> Probably not. She's only going to do like 100 something. Uh, I mean, maybe it was better to use the Pierce buff. I don't know. We could If this doesn't kill, we'll come back and use it instead. Uh, 80k. Okay, well. 2000, 2000, and, uh. Yeah. Okay, well. We will, uh. We'll come back and we'll try and use a different buff instead. And we'll see if that has the stopping power. All right, we're back on turn three. We had a little bit better luck. We've got the EX alt for Rain, almost an EX alt for Aqua, but that's not really important. What's important is, is that we didn't have to use Veldora on turn two. We just had to use Beretta's Orb Change. So that saved us a protector, which is actually gonna help us out here because we're gonna use the Rain Magic buff now and get it onto two of our units to help them do more damage. And then we're just gonna send them away. Uh, so you're gonna come in for Rain. Aqua, and you're coming in for rain. There we go. And then we can use the orb change for Beretta again to give us a full hand of oranges, because now we're going to use Veldora to change this. And now we should have enough points, hopefully, being the keyword, to use the Aqua buff. Uh, maybe not next turn, but the turn afterwards. But we will most definitely have an alt for Kazuma. Uh, okay, yeah, we need to go one more turn, hopefully getting a few more points out of this. So maybe we can use Veldora again, try and get some extra orbs. Please give me a lot of greens. Well, okay, that, I guess that works. Um, I mean, we just need 80, so... That'll change two of them. Plus we can send the Hinata alt as well. So I, I think we can get 80 points here. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, so, six, uh, okay, that's not, uh, that's also not, okay, um, can, uh, no, I don't want to do that, because it's going to set us back down, uh, okay, well, that is a little unfortunate right there, um, and we have, okay, we'll just have to delay one more turn before it gets to his, you know, big time nuke turn to get six goddamn points. We're going to save the Cosmo alt. Okay, there's our six points right there. So we, we sh we'll we be good here. It's just that even with all this, can we still kill is going to be the big question. So two oranges, send them. All right, there's a hit. All right, so now now here comes the question. So you'll come in for Hinata, and then you'll come in for Beretta, and then we'll use the Aqua buff instead this time. Now, to be fair, we also have the Magic buff on Aqua and Rain, so we're going to do more damage here regardless, but it'll be very telling as to how well it works. So we'll send the two greens because there's more. Uh, 40k, alright, cool. Aqua, 62k, okay. And then Rain does 115. Okay, so there we go. We got it done at turn 6 with the additional buff. We just needed a little bit of RNG on turn 2 to where we could hold the Veldora Protector and use it at a much more efficient time. Uh, and that's with a 4-star Protector. I mean, you could, you could bring the Orc in here and do it as well. I, you'd probably get the same result because the oranges without any like additional buffs going on are not going to raise you a skill cap to 120 or something like that. So uh, either or works. Probably the four star Veldora is more. Um, uh, what's what's the word? Usable than orc because you just may not have the orc, but you may or may not have a four star protector because you just pulled them while you're summoning. Uh, let's see if there's one more team. Never mind. We're not going to show another team. Um, I mean, there's very limited protectors that do oranges, so like this Veldora or the Orc. If you happen to pull Milim, great. If you have Toa, awesome. If you have Hakuro, he will do almost the same exact fucking thing as Toa and Milim do, just a little bit worse. Uh, the Orc down here, cool. But 
Overall, protectors are going to be kind of limited here. And then battle units, like just strong water units. If you have, you know, the EX water is great. Physical Reamer won't be good here because he's physical and he's an AoE. Uh, we can't really use Vengeance, but that's going to be its own video. Uh, it's just that there aren't a lot of orange metas, so as far as orb changing is concerned, you have very few options. Beretta is a blue to orange orb changer. Fire Shizu... This Fire Shizu is a blue to orange orb changer. So you have that. Hinata's your special convert. Fire Slime Reamer, that's the free one you get from the serial code shop. Uh, he's also a double convert. Both his skills are a one and one to, you know, one orange. Um... But, I mean, yeah, you don't want to crit here, so Water Shion may or may not be the best option. The Water buff would be good for a lot of Water units, but the crit buff, not. The alt buff will be good. It's you got to play around with what you got. So I think we're going to end the video there. But uh, if you guys had a different team that you used to beat EX3, let me know in the comments. That way other people can see that and you know use that idea. But that's it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all later.